Hello everyone, today's tutorial will show you how to train AutoML model in Vertex AI. We'll be working with tabular dataset to create a classification model. But this tutorial will be also useful for people who want to train a regression model as the process is basically the same. So without further ado, let's talk about the dataset preparation first. So here we are on the official Google documentation page about uh, preparing tabular training data. So let's scroll a little bit down and here we can see that for the classification and regression, we have the following requirements. So let's quickly discuss those. The dataset must be 100 gigabytes or smaller. There must be at least two and no more than 1000 columns. There must be at least 1000 and no more than 100 million rows. And last but not least, you must, you must use the appropriate data format for your objective. And here we can see that for the classification and regressions model, white format is generally the best. So having that in mind, let's go to our actual data set that we'll be working today with. Today we'll be working with stroke prediction uh, data set coming from Kaggle. Um, I will make sure to link this page in our uh, video description so you can go through uh, detailed information if you are interested about those. Let's have a look at the, uh, the data set. So here are a couple of a few important things that I wanted to discuss. First of all, um, we'll be uh, predicting um, stroke uh, column. As I mentioned, like this is a classification mo model that we will be training today. So as you can see in the stroke column, we have just two values, zero and one. Then what is important is that we have uh, both numeric and categorical uh, variable types. So this is very uh, cool because I will show you how to deal with both of those in Vertex AI. And also one important thing regarding the selection of the columns, uh, we can see that uh, in the first column we have an ID and this is a column that will uh, be excluding from our training. So I will also so show you how to exclude some uh, column from the training. And now as we discussed the data set, let's jump to the Jupyter Notebook where we will do our training. Okay, so first things first, let's import the Vertex AI library. Let's initialize a connection. Uh, the first step is basically getting the data set. So we'll be grabbing our data set. For this, you need to like uh, provide um, your data set ID, which is basically your project ID, your location, and also your data set ID. So data set ID can be easily retrieved from this uh, data sets uh, left panel in Vertex AI. So as you can see, we are taking this, uh, this ID. Um, okay, let's retrieve it. And let's display the columns name. Uh, as, yeah, as discussed previously, we'll be predicting a stroke column. So one of the things that we need to create uh, to train a Vertex AI model is something called column specs. And this is, uh, yeah, let me show you what it is. So it's basically a um, dictionary which consists of the um, column name and name of the transformation that will be applied to this column. And by default, everything is set to uh, be like the auto transformation applied, but you can uh, manually change it. So uh, it needs to be uh, one of categorical, numerical, text, or timestamp. So for um, for this tutorial pur purposes, I will show you um, yeah that we can change the gender and age. G gender will be categorical, as we can see here, and age will be numeric. And also, uh, I mentioned that uh, the ID column will be excluded from the training. So how we can do it? Well, we basically need to um, exclude it from this dictionary that has our column names and transformations. So 
simple uh, pop method will uh, do the trick. So as you can see, right now we don't have the ID column uh, in our column specs. And uh, yeah, now let's do a couple more of definitions. So uh, yeah, let's define a display name. It will be a stroke classification model. It will show up in the Vertex AI. Then we need to set up the um, prediction type. It's one of the classification or regression. So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the process is very similar for the classification and regression models. And this is true. So you basically need to uh, set this uh, um, uh, variable either to classification or regression. Um, and then um, we will be also changing the default objective uh, function of the model. Uh, so for classification, for binary classification, the default one is to maximize AU rock, but we'll change it to minimize log loss. Um, I've also listed uh, the uh, metrics for the classification and regression. So let's run the cell. And really just two more steps to train the model. First, we need to create a training job. So we are uh, creating like this AutoML tabular training job. We are giving it a display name optimization prediction type. So here we are saying that it's a classification model. Uh, we are also setting optimization objective. And uh, the fourth uh, argument that we are passing is this column specs that I discussed previously. And I'm also setting a location. So let's uh, create a training job. And now let's run the training job. So um, yeah, we are just passing a few more arguments. First data set, then uh, target column name, which is stroke. Here we have a training validation and test split. I'm showing you the default values, uh, but let's change those. So we'll set uh, training to be 70% uh, of our data set, validation 15%, uh, and uh, test also 15%. And the last thing that we need to uh, set is this budget millinote hours. This is basically a number which tells us for how long the training process will uh, last um, at most. And 1000 corresponds to one hour. And we can set it uh, between uh, one hour and 72 hours. And it's important to note that this is only um, training, how long the training can take uh, at, at max, but uh, the entire process will take uh, a slightly longer because at the beginning there is like um, data transformations, provisioning the infrastructure and so on. So this uh, for, uh, for these settings, the, the training should take more or less uh, two hours. So let's start our training job and let's get back here once it's done. All right, so the training of the model was finished. We are on our uh, training tab in Vertex AI. We can see that we have uh, currently uh, one training job. It was finished and it took uh, more or less two hours. So as I mentioned previously, despite the fact that we set our budget to be uh, one hour, everything around uh, the training process took uh, like another hour. So that's why we have two hours altogether. Um, so now we need to get our model ID to um, for our Jupyter notebook to uh, move on. So let's go to the actual model. Let's jump to the version details and let's grab the model ID. So now in order to retrieve the model, we need to create the string. And here I already passed our model ID. So let's retrieve it. It was successful. All right. So now let's talk about the few things that you might want to do with your trained model. 
So first of all, we can export our train model. So we are not tied to the Vertex AI service. If we choose to do so, we can export the train model. So first we need to check the supported export formats for this particular model. And here we have the TF saved model. And the second thing is to export this to Google Cloud Storage. So um, here we are just passing like this um, uh, export format ID and also destination in Google Cloud Storage. So as you can see, it was successful. So let's jump to the Cloud Storage. Let me refresh this page. As, and as you can see, we have uh, successfully exported our model here. Mm, so yeah, you can see that we have here uh, multiple fires from our uh, model. Um, okay, so next thing is that um, we can also see the model evaluation. So if we go to our model in the Vertex AI and we uh, yeah, let's select the current version. Uh, so here the main page uh, shows like the evaluation tab. And um, here you can visually see um, what were some of the most important metrics. But sometimes it's also very helpful to just grab them uh, straight into the Python. So again, it's very simple. Uh, first of all, we need to see the model evaluation which are uh, tied to our model. And by default, this will be just one uh, model evaluation. So here we have its ID and we are passing this ID uh, to this um, model dot, uh, get model evaluation method and it brings us the evaluation. Uh, and really uh, the uh, core of this uh, of this process is this uh, function which I copied straight from the Google Cloud documentation. It will basically bring us the uh, evaluation. So here we need to uh, to this function we need to pass few things: uh, project uh, project ID, model ID, um, location. So. Uh, for me, it's Europe West 1. And we also need to create API endpoint, but this is very simple. We are just merging your, uh, our location with this AI platform, Google APIs.com. Mm, and uh, also to this function, we are passing the evaluation ID, which we grabbed uh, previously there. So let's run it. And here uh, we have uh, quite a long response uh, from this function, but uh, there you basically have like all the evaluation metrics on a different confidence threshold. So um, yeah, we won't be going through entire list because it's very long. All right, so two last things which I want to just briefly discuss is that we can update our model uh, description which will be displayed in vertex ai and also we can uh, delete our model but uh, i won't be doing that because it will be useful for us in the upcoming uh, videos all right this is the end of this tutorial if you would like to use this code you can get a github link from the video description so feel free to download it and run it on your own thank you for watching